Hi, welcome to my prime numbers tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to explain what prime numbers are and why they are important. First and foremost, if you have ever heard of encryption, data encryption, message encryption, or if you use a bank cash card, then the data in that, in that card is encrypted in a way so that people don't know it if they get hold of that card. If you've used encryption to encrypt a, mess encrypt a message or an email, then prime numbers are at the heart of these encryption operations. You don't necessarily have to understand how the encryption works. Usually it can be quite tricky and uh, 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 co complicated, but these simple prime numbers that we learned about maybe at secondary or high school, again, are at the heart of the encryption. So let's try to explain what, what they are, you know, their properties and how can we find them, how we can list prime numbers. Now, a prime number is a natural whole number that has exactly two distinct whole numbers that divide it, divide it with no remainder. I'm copying and pasting from Wikipedia, from a Wikipedia by the article, by the way, Wikipedia article on prime numbers. Now, a prime number is a natural number. Natural means it's not negative, so it's not minus one, minus two, and so on and so forth. It's not a fraction, so it's not 1 over 3, 1 over 2, 1 over 5, or anything like that's not a fraction. It's not 5 over 13, it's not a fraction. And it does not have a decimal point, so it's not 1.3, 1.4, and or anything like that. So natural is not negative, it's a positive number, uh, including 0 maybe, we'll come to 0. Uh, it's not a fraction, as we said, and it's not... Um, 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 it doesn't have a decimal point, so it's not one point something or anything like that. Now, it's a whole number again, so it's not a fraction, that has exactly two distinct whole numbers, so two distinct other whole numbers. These two distinct, in, they, they need to be two, and they must be different, they must be distinct, so they can't be the same. Two different numbers, two, two different whole numbers that divide it, divide it with no remainder. So what that means is, when we divide that number by any of those two distinct numbers we can have another whole number without a remainder, without a decimal point. These divisors are the number itself and one. So these two distinct numbers must be the number itself and one. Let's take an example. For example, seven is a prime number because the only numbers that divide it, that divide it evenly, i.e. without a remainder, are 1 and 7. 91 is not a prime number. The, re the reason is we can divide 91 by 1, by 7, uh, by 13, and by 91 itself. Yes, so these are more than two. We need to have two. One of them must be the number itself. The other one must be 1. 0 and 1, for example, are not prime numbers. The reason is if we divide 0 by 0, that's undefined anyway and if we uh, and for one the only number that divides one is one itself of course without having a remainder without having a decimal point without, without having a fraction so there's only one number that divides one by that divides it with no re leftover and it's one itself all natural numbers all other numbers now you know what a natural number is I explained it all natural numbers that are not prime are called composite numbers. Yes, so all other num natural numbers are that are not prime are called composite numbers. Now, how can we find a list? How can we list prime numbers? Well, the technique is quite easy. Uh, since we exclude 0 and 1, these are not prime. They are not prime numbers. Always remember this. Then what we can do here is we can start with 2. Yes, so remember they're all positive numbers. We said natural numbers, so they're all positive numbers, no fractions, no decimal points. We start at 2 and we list all the numbers after 2 and we stop wherever we want. We stop wherever we want to stop. So if I, if I tell you, give me the prime numbers between 2 and 100, then you list all the numbers bet between 2 and 100. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 100. And then what happens after that is we start with 2 now and we cross out all the multiples of 2, i.e. we cross out 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, all the way up to where we want to stop. After that, we go back to the beginning of the list now, and what we have now is, for example, 3. Then we leave 3 alone, as we left 2 alone, and we cross out all the multiples of 3 
all the way up until we stop wherever we want to stop and then we go back now and whatever number we have in the beginning we leave it alone and then we cross out the multiples of that number until we finish the whole list let's take an example these are the numbers between 2 and 35 so 0 and 1 are excluded for the reasons we explained in the last slide now we cross out all the multiples of 2 we remove 4 I'll put them in red the ones that the numbers that need to be removed so the multiples of 2 are 4 6 uh, 8 10 12 all the way up until 34 as you can see in red and then after that we go back to the beginning of the list yes and what we do is we cross out now the multiples of 3 which are 6 already crossed out 9 12 already crossed out 15 um, 18 already crossed out 21 24 already crossed out 27 30 33 yes and after that we go now back to the beginning of the list and we find the number 5 and then for 5 what we do is again we cross out all the multiples of 5 already 10 is crossed out already 15 crossed out already 20 crossed out already 25 we cross it out 30 is gone already and 35 after that we end up with 2 3 5 11 uh, 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 and 31 I hope that makes sense the technique is quite easy just have a second look if it doesn't make sense I'm sure it does but just maybe you can watch the video again and hopefully it will make sense the technique is quite e easy as I said I'm gonna stop here thanks for watching and I'll see you in one in one of my next videos